What's up, guys? Flood and uh, 14 here. And yeah, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, beat the gym leader here, Rourke, uh, in a pretty easy gym battle. He didn't have the best Pokemon. Uh, I, I think his best one was Furret, yeah, but uh, even that was no match for our Metal Crabmon. Um, we also found an interesting Pokemon at the end of that last episode, Typhlosion. Um, I think I'll probably go for it again, but uh, of course, between, uh, at the end of last episode, we called Zigzagoon, so that's this one here. So it's got shell armor, <laughs> pretty funny, protects against crits in this game, so not bad, not bad. Uh, and we also got, uh, yeah, Rockterra, so, uh, this, uh, it actually is rash nature, which is a good nature, and it has, a uh, sturdy, so, yeah, not the best ability, but, um, I'm not gonna train this one for now, uh, cause I do plan to double back and try to catch Typhlosion again, um, and we may run into another Torterra down there with a different ability, uh, cause sturdy, you know, isn't fixed yet, this isn't Gen 5. Um, in between episodes, I did, uh, I checked up here for another Flareon with a different ability besides Multi-Type. Uh, I didn't find one, but I did find, um, I did find some Pokemon that, well, a couple that are easy to catch, and one that's probably hard to catch, but I want to try to go for. So let's just go up here for now, and, uh, let's take a look around. Let's see if I find... There's two Pokemon I'm particularly thinking of uh, that I'm, that I, uh, yeah. And I guess if we find a Flareon, I will look for that. This is one of them. I'm glad we found it early. Uh, so let's see if it has the ability I was thinking of. Uh, Tintin Lens, yeah. So, uh, very, pretty good ability. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, powers up moves that are not very effective. Um, so yeah, let's try to catch this thing. Pokemon have pretty powerful moves. Uh, let's try Scratch. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this thing does have Sonic Boom. And in fact, it KOs me a couple times uh, off screen. Uh, hmm. Another one of those would put you in range. Go for it, JJ. Yeah, it does have that attack too. That may KO us, but. No, okay, good, good. Uh, ooh, perfect, JJ. Save right before this, so if we use like too many Pokeballs, or we just you know can't seem to get it or whatever, then I will reset. But uh, yeah, I did want to try to catch this one, the one with Tinted Lens. Uh, the other ability that's been randomized is <laughs> yeah, it actually has Blades, so that's pretty funny. That's one of the uh, starters abilities usually, so pretty funny. But uh, all right, we'll go for the Yawn here. And this thing does have Sonic Boom. So, and that's kind of why I want to try to catch it. Um, but because of that, I don't want our sleep, uh, our Pokemon that can put him to sleep to be KO'd. So, yeah, well, yeah, it also has that which can trap you. So, watch out. Uh, but yeah, so let's go for some Pokeballs. Yeah. And I did stock up in between episodes as well. So, hopefully, we can get lucky and catch this thing. But, you know, two, three. Oh my god. Thank goodness. Wow. One Pokeball. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Bip Brava, the vibration Pokemon. It violently shudders its wings, generating ultrasonic waves to induce headaches in people. Nice. Nice. All right. So we're going to uh, name this. Now, normally this evolves into Flygon, and it is a rock type. So um, let's name you... Uh, well, for now, it is Vibrava, so you know what? I'll change the name for Flygon later, but let's name you... Rock-type, uh... Oh, this kind of makes sense. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of a pun. Vibrava? Uh, no, no, no. We'll go with the K. Vibrava. Rock? On. Yeah, Rock on. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot an R. Vibrava. Rock. I guess the C would work. Be a Brockon. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, I'm glad we got that one. Uh, so, yeah, let's go back and heal. 
Very good, very good. And in fact, I think I'll switch the Brava out right now. Well, hopefully he has a good nature too. I mean, I'm not going to be too picky uh, because we did catch that in one Pokemon and it is an evolved Pokemon to be fair. So, um, yeah, I may just, you know, take it. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, so here's Vibara. Oh, it has a full heal. That's nice. So we'll take that. Uh, that was worth it, if nothing else. Uh, what's this nature? Calm. So let's check my thing here. Calm. Ah, that kind of sucks, honestly. It actually reduces attack and boosts special defense. Um, as far as the nature. But you know what? Like I said, I think I am gonna go with this one because, uh, yeah, well, you know, while I was looking for Flareon uh, to have a different ability, uh, yeah, I found the ones with Blaze more often. But yeah, I think this is the better ability. Yeah, Tinted Lens powers up moves that are not very effective. So, yeah, with that being said, I think we'll put the Rock on on the team for now. Um, Let's deposit Metal Crabmon for now. Uh, he's definitely still on the team team, but it's just, you know, we're catching Pokemon right now, so I definitely want to keep these two, the Sleeper and, uh, yeah, Paris, you know, to, uh, yeah, to scout out the abilities. So, okay, that being done, let's uh, rearrange my party here. So let's put, uh, yeah, there we go, Paris back down here. Good. That seems to be where I normally have that dose is down below, so... Okay. Alright, so yeah. Welcome to the team, Vibrakan. Alright, and there are a couple other Pokemon I found. Uh, but yeah, I did find a Flareon that had a different ability, and Flareon's also really, 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 really rare up here, for whatever reason. So, I will continue looking for a Flareon that has an ability besides... Um, Besides, uh, uh, what's that ability it has? The one, the same one that uh, Arceus has? Multi-type, multi-type, I remember it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I will be looking for um, an ability other than multi-type, because that's obviously only Arceus can use that ability if we can't use it, so. Um, but yeah, so, but I'll be doing that in between episodes, because, like I said, Flurion, for whatever reason, seems to be a really rare encounter. I do want to use it, though, because Steel Type's good, but it's just, you know, I don't want to waste, you know, that much time in the episode, so, you know, yeah, that's the plan with that. Um, okay, and for, for Rockon, I do need to switch the moves a little here. Uh, Sonic Boom's actually very good in a randomizer like this, because, yeah, all the types are random, but uh, Sonic Boom does 20 damage regardless, so that kind of helps to circumvent the, uh, yeah, yeah, the fact that it's a randomizer, so, uh, Fame Sack uh, also never misses, so that's also a good move. Uh, Sand too, not so much, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? Uh, there are, like I said, there are a couple of the Pokemon up here that are easy to catch, so let's see if we run into them. Each min ma wai Alright, but yeah, Sonic Boom. Again, is even here. I don't even remember this thing's type, but the fact that we can just yeah, yeah, look at that. Twenty damage takes it takes it down all the way to the red. So yeah, I think the rock on is gonna uh, serve us well in this playthrough. So all right. And if we hit moves that aren't very effective, Tin and Lens will actually power them up. So that's good. Uh, plus two. Okay. All right. Oh, two level ups. Nice. Well, wow, you're, you're coming along, Rock on. All right. All right. I'm glad we found him. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. I know what this is. I know what this is. Yeah. Heatran. Yeah, I did run into a couple of these as well. And uh, you may remember uh, from a couple episodes ago, but these guys have Shadow Tag. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paris, uh, our friendship rating with, uh, Paris may be, like, way, 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 way down, uh, because I did get knocked out quite a few times. Ooh, dark super effective on this guy. Okay, I'll remember, try to remember that in case you run into some more. He may KO us here, though, honestly. Yeah, yeah, because we speed tied. Nice. Alright, alright, e-train. Alright, 
so I'll have to go back and heal, but uh, not a problem, not a problem. Um, definitely have to wait till we get some ultras before we get, go for this guy. Uh, who do I want to get the XP? You know what, Wi Fry, you're the lowest, so you do it, bro. Let's give this guy then the shot. Alright. Not bad, crit. And I'm normal type. That's not gonna be super effective on me like it normally is. <laughs> Good experience from Heat Train though. Man, plus four special. Ooh, Zapdos, baby. Alright, so let's get out of here. So, yeah, usually when I'm looking up here, because they're Pokemon with Shadow Tag, I usually stay close to the Pokemon Center because, you know, yeah. Sometimes you can have, uh, like I was having Paris up front to scout out the abilities, so, yeah. And, you know, you can get knocked out pretty easily, so. Alright, but, uh, you know, we're not done up north there, so let's uh, head back up. And actually, let me, uh, let me save before I start looking up here, because we did get really lucky and only need, like, one Pokeball for, uh, the Brava, so, yeah, let's save right here. Okay. Alright. And then we will continue looking. Uh, did I spoil what other Pokemon are up here? I don't think I did. I don't think I did, so. I'll try not to do so. Uh, but yeah, after this, I think we'll double back, since we're close to the cave, uh, to look for Croconaw next. Uh, I figured going after Croconaw may be easier than Typhlosion, so that was the order, you know, I wanted to try this in, you know, uh, Vibrava first, then go for, uh, Croconaw, which I think will, you know, be easier than Typhlosion. It's not fully evolved, so, well, at least I hope it'll be easier. <laughs> yeah, right. And then we'll, we will try for Typhlosion. Uh, we may, you know, soft reset for Typhlosion, you know, four or five times, but eventually I will show you guys, you know, me catching it. Plus, we didn't really take a good look down there in the Orberg Gate, you know, anyway, so I kind of wanted to go back there and double, double check anyway. So there may be other Pokemon that we just haven't uh, caught yet. Alright, there's, that's what I was looking for. Pachirisu's here, so, yeah, the Pika Squirrel, so. Alright, I don't think a Sonic Boom will kill it, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for Sonic Boom. Oh, we missed. Yeah, it does have, like, 85 accuracy or whatever. Oh. Well, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, maybe I should try to catch it right now. Uh, because that bite's gonna be pretty powerful. Okay, but I'll go. Yeah, this thing is caught pretty easily normally, so I don't mind that I'm not putting it to sleep. Very good, very good. Oh! Dude, I thought we had it there. Okay, okay. The bite still rages on. Okay. My bad. I sh Man, I almost put the cart before the horse there. Alright. And one. Two. Other one. There we go. Okay. We got Patrice. Very good. I'm not even sure what this thing's ability is, but... Pachi Risu, the Ella Squirrel Pokemon. A pair may be seen rubbing their cheek pouches together in an effort to share stored electricity. Ah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, what is dark type? So we'll name you, uh... A dark squirrel, an evil squirrel. Man, there's a name I'm thinking of. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Uh, okay, we'll just name you... Uh, we'll just we'll just keep it simple here. But man, yeah, th there's like a cartoon show with an evil squirrel. Oh man, uh, I just can't think of that. Like I can picture it in my head, but I can't think of that character's name. Uh, we'll just name you Petchadark. All right. And the other Pokemon um, that's up there, I don't think I'll go for it now. It is a little harder to catch. I may wait till we get great balls to go up there and get it, but uh, yeah, yeah, let's check out, let's heal up and check out uh, Patrice's ability. Okay, and then we'll head back to the mine and go for Crocodile. Let's see what we got here. No items? Okay. 
So it is hasty. Bad, <laughs> bad dreams. Well, uh, if you guys don't know, normally that's Dark Rise ability. That's actually a pretty good ability. Yeah, I think it does like uh, quite a lot of damage if the uh, foe's asleep in this game. So I think they reduced it in later gens, but that's pr that's pretty funny. If there's anything that can make Pachirisu good, it's like Dark Rise ability. That's that's pretty funny. <laughs> Almost makes me want to use it in this game. Hmm. Well, if we can find a TM like that's a sleeping move, maybe because uh, Pachirisu is a fast Pokemon. So if we do find like a TM for like Spore or Sleep Powder, believe it or not, I will consider it because you know Bad Dreams is just that good of an ability. Trust me, trust me. So. All right, Little Rio. Ooh, we one hit Dojo go down here. That's. That's cool, I like that. I like that big rock on. Alright. There we go. Good EXP. Man, this thing is getting EXP fast. It's almost like it's a traded Pokemon. Okay, uh, oh, let's see. Well, before I go for Croconaw, I do want to say Carnivine. But uh yeah, so. I remember this thing giving out quite a bit of EXP too. Aren't you ghost type though? Let's go for Fame Attack. Ghost type, right? Oh no! Okay, okay. My bad. Well, we can try for uh, Sonic Boom then. No, Sonic Boom! Oh, I guess it's not Ghost type. Yeah, otherwise that wouldn't even work, so. Yeah, remember that bite being woo, pretty powerful. Jeez. Who knew? Maybe it has Stab on that. Yeah, because who would have thought Carnivine would have such a powerful bite attack? <clears throat> maybe it does. Maybe it's part dark type. And maybe that's why faint attack wasn't very effective. Uh, see, that's making sense. Ooh, plus zero. They're Brockon. That hurts. That hurts me to look at. Oof. I mean, but Flygon is pretty beastly, so... Oh, right. Let's save. Let's save. Yeah, because we got... Uh, uh, yeah, they're Brockon in one Pokeball. And, um... Pachirisu in two, so, so far we're doing good on the, uh, conserving our balls. <laughs> our Pokeballs, so. Yeah. If we use too many on Croconaw, just like we did on Typhlosion, I will reset, so, just to give you guys a heads up, you know. We're still early in the game. Money's a little hard to come by, so. Licked butter. Man, I really want to catch this thing, but I just know... You know, it wouldn't be a good idea, so... Alright. This thing does give great EXP, though. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. It's a rock type. Um, please hit? Oh, yes, yeah, quick attack. Well, that's not gonna be very effective, though. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Show me some ones or twos. Two. Ah, uh, that's acceptable. I'll take that. I'll take that. On the attack game. Okay. Uh, do I have any potions? Um, not really. Yeah, I used most of my money on Pokeballs. Well, I have two. Hmm. Okay, I'll use one. Oh, wait. What's our health at? What's our health at? Uh, yeah, I'll use one. I'll use one. Just in the interest of time. But in the future, I'll probably be heading back, you know, just so we, you know, conserve more money. So, all right. Yeah, we did find Croconaw in, in this floor, though, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, ooh, Houndour! I love Houndour, oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, well, I don't know, would Sonic Boom kill it? Let's, uh, let's just, uh... mind me just using my soldier boy game consoles features okay sonic boom <laughs> oh it doesn't affect them it doesn't affect them okay okay see guys i didn't cheat i didn't cheat i just uh i just uh well wait so it must be ghost type then right so i don't want to use faint attack right we don't want to ko it okay uh oh that's super effective but it is sand tomb sand tomb is pretty weak yeah Oh man, if we can get a Hound Hour, you know, in this game. Whoa, with a good ability, man, I'll be really glad in 
this game. Let's use sand attack. I mainly just want the chip damage from sand too. When it wears off, we'll switch in to uh, use yawn. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, he's free. Okay, okay. So. Uh, now, normally by the time you run into Hound Hour, you have great balls. So, you know. But I did save the state, you know, to start. So, yeah, you know, I'll reset if I, I need to. But I don't think we will. We should be able to get it, to be fair, so. Alright. Go to sleep, little puppy. It's nap time. Alright. Clear, huh? That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Alright, please be caught, Hound Hour. I want you on my team. Yeah, and like, all the time we spent in the mine, I didn't even know this Pokemon was down here, so. I'm glad we doubled back to this, if nothing else. caught. Yeah, baby. All right. Oh, Ghost Electric. Rotom Sight. Hound Hour. The Dark Pokemon. It is smart enough to hunt in packs. It uses a variety of cries for communicating with others. Sweet. And yes, I've got a good name for you, uh, Hound Hour. I'm gonna name him Doom. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I'm excited about that one. In fact, I'm so excited. Let's uh, let's head back right now, right now, and check out how they are. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling good. Unknown O. Hmm. If we do find a J, uh, which is the first letter of my name, I will try to catch you. So <laughs> I know it's kind of intimidating. Wait, that that didn't have that ability in the last episode, did it? That's that's really funny. That's really funny. Yes, yes, guys. Don't you find unknown to be the most intimidating Pokemon? I know I do. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. I'll be missed. Okay. It's okay. It's hidden powers not, you know, not too strong. So <laughs> that's really funny. I don't know. We got that intimidating. That's okay, that's okay. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the legendary was in this room. Yeah, the legendary light Pokemon we ran into. Uh, was it a Zelf last episode? I think it was a Zelf. I think it was. Okay. And you're weak to dark, right? No. I thought it does good damage though. Tech is nice though. The fact that it can't miss, that is a good move to have. Because uh, a lot of Pokemon in this game do get double team, as we'll see later. Or like smoke screen, stuff like that. Sand attack, you know. So. Plus two, good. Good, good rock on. Good. Keep up the plus twos, buddy. We don't want those zeros. So good job, buddy. Okay, let's check and see what Hound are. Oh, it just turned to like uh, evening time in the game. Okay. Glad you guys got to see that. Yeah, this game does have the day, day and night system. Oh, you know, maybe that is why uh, off screen I only ran into like, uh, I only ran into like two Flareon and I searched for like 30 minutes. So yeah, maybe they're more common at night. Hmm. I didn't even think about that until just now. Um, so yeah, let's check out Doom here. Hound Hour. Uh, what's your... Okay, brave. Minus. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That is a really bad ability. Um, so... Yeah, I don't... I mean, I really love Hound Hour and Hound Doom, but... I mean, come on, Minus. No, 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 no. Okay, if we do use a uh, Hound Doom, I'll search for another one of those with a lot better ability than that. I mean, come on, bro. See, I think Brave is a good nature, though. Well, I can check right here. Let's let's see. Brave. I think Brave is good for Hound Hour, though. Um, brave. Yeah, plus attack, minus speed. Mm. I don't like the speed drop, but plus attack is good, you know, because uh, uh, Hound Doom eventually gets all the, you know, Fang moves, like Thunder Fang, uh, Fire Fang, etc. 
this out. So, Victory Bell. You know, you know how uh, Victory Bell has like the uh, how every time it appears in the anime with James, it screeches. I just pictured that sound in my head. You know, whenever it just appeared on screen, I always do actually. It's pretty funny. So. catching up fast. Okay, I guess if we run into another uh, Hound Hour, I'll switch in uh, Paris to see what its ability is. But of uh, course, we're primarily looking for Croconaw. But if we don't find either one, you know, I'll join you next episode. And what I'll probably do is uh, at the start of the episode, I'll just cut in uh, to where we find one of them. And we'll try to catch it and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. But if we can find it now, that's fine. That just saves me some time. So, there we go. There's a hound hour. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see if this one has minus. Uh, uh, JJ, you're up, bro. It is ghost electric, so. Uh, this one does have minus. Okay, okay. So, we'll switch back, use faint attack, and take it out. So, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Didn't hurt to check though. Yeah, Trace is handy. Trace does save me a lot of time as far as, you know, uh, searching for good abilities and stuff. So, I'm glad we found Paris uh, or a Pokemon with Trace early. So, alright. Uh, but yeah, as far as the next few episodes, you may be wondering here for Pokemon Platinum, what's the what's the plan? You know, are we gonna are we gonna speed run? Are we gonna head back to you know do some gyms? No, no. To be quite frank, I I think I've said this before in other episodes, but I really just like to chill and yeah, just see everything this uh, randomized uh, you know or has to offer. You know, as far as Pokemon and etc. So we're just gonna be. Yeah, and, and really for every area that we do this LP, we're going to be doing a lot of scouting, you know, just to see, uh, yeah, what abilities there are and what all random Pokemon there are. Because, like, I've been to this area, like, how many times have I been here to the mine? Probably, like, because one time I came to make sure we have enough money, and then another time I came to unlock Rorik, and then this time. So, and in each time, like, the first time we didn't run into Croconaw, right? <laughs> and, like, the, you know, the second time we did, and then this third time we ran into Hound Hour, which I still hadn't seen yet. So, yeah, um, it's definitely worth, you know, taking your time because you may miss, like, a good starter Pokemon or a legendary, or it's just like, you may miss, like, Slaking, you know, without True Rock. So, you know, yeah, so that's, you know, yeah. I do like taking my time, you know, in a randomizer and, you know, just playing Pokemon in general is fun. I mean, if you don't like it, I guess you can skip to the next, you know, main episode where we go to the next uh, town or city or whatever, but, you know, yeah, that, that's just, you know, that's just what I like to do, man, you know. All right, uh, let's see what ability you got. else this is good at exp too for our tracer so i can uh retreat later plus minus yeah okay, okay. all right all right do, 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 do. back to vibraca oh we did make some progress if nothing else in this episode because uh, we got we caught you know one of the pokemon i wanted to show you guys and then uh yeah we basically caught it up with the rest of our team so which is good, which is good, so. All right. Okay, and what time are we at, by the way? I think I started this at like uh, 4.45. So, I might have fetched. <laughs> so I think we'll like, we'll do like one or two more battles and then that'll be it for this episode. So. Okay. 
when I guess from what we've seen, crocodile is pretty rare to find down here. Uh, but that, that, you know, makes sense in canon, you know, a starter Pokemon being rare to find, you know? That does make sense, you know? <laughs> in order for Ash to find his Bulbasaur, man, he had to find, like, some hidden, hidden house in the middle of nowhere, you know, that was taking care of orphan Pokemon. Um, this thing is down to the red, so I guess I will... Uh, I'll try, like, two balls on it, but that's it, you know? Farfetch'd is not a priority, you know, shocker, <laughs> for us to catch, but, right? you know, I will, you know, if we ever get any Pokemon down to the red, really, I will try to catch it, you know, just to, you know, just because, so... Yeah, because you never know. It may be holding a good random item, you know. All right. All right, Farfetch. Let's see if you want to come along easily. Pokeball go. All right. One. Two. A three. Nice. One ball. That's what I like to see. All right. Firefetch, the wild duck Pokemon. Ah, so that's why it's a water type. It can it can't live without the stalk it holds. That's why it defends the stalk from attackers with its life. Ah, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna just name you uh, the Duckster. <laughs> You know what? No, you're a girl. We'll name you Duck Stitz. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, guys. Uh, yeah. Like I said. Um, um, yeah, we didn't run into Croconaw, uh here in this episode. But what I'm gonna do is I'll just look for it off screen, or the Hound Hour with a better ability. Either way, uh, we're gonna cut to the next episode, and at the start of that. We will try to catch one of them. All right, and then.